right, so I just arrived at the Mickey and Friends parking structure. It is 6.53 in the morning. It is early um, and on a Saturday of all things. Um, I'm here by myself this time um, making an attempt to get this little green alien annual pass holder popcorn bucket um, that we um, honestly really haven't had an opportunity to try to get. Um, the couple of times that we've been down since the bucket has been released, um, which was I think the end of April, um, we've come down in the afternoon or evening and so we, you know, we checked but we knew it was out. This is our real first active attempt or my first attempt to, uh, to be here to get it. Um, we read on social media that they restocked yesterday, but that was yesterday. I have no idea what to expect today. Um, if they don't have it, we do plan to come down tomorrow, the both of us, and uh, same thing, try to get here real early and uh, give it a go. There is a Magic Mornings today, unfortunately for me, um, which is at seven o'clock, Disneyland opens. Um, Disney California Adventure opens at 8 and then Disneyland opens for regular guests at 8. So my attempt is to hopefully get parked here soon, which don't know what we're doing. I'm probably 15 cars back. There's only two, I guess, lanes open. and But it looks like it, they lead, like they're kind of next to one parking booth. So there may be one attendant for two cars worth so I could be potentially as far back as 29 cars if they're just alternating sides. My plan is to get in here, get on the tram and um, get in line basically for DCA and uh, they're supposed to sell these buckets at DCA on their hub right in front of Carthay Circle so it's a it's a straight shot in and then um, queue up. We've also seen and read on social media that there are um, definitely queues established for these things that's how popular these buckets are um, have no idea the types of quantity that they're stocking they just will announce on twitter or something you know hey annual pass holders you know the buckets are here i have no idea how many there are obviously these lines what we've uh, gathered from social media is that they're they're up to a couple hours long. Um, so I hope that means that they're just stocking a ton of these buckets. However, you know, we're unable to confirm that just yet. So um, definitely we'll see what that's like this morning and see what's going on. It's 7.09 and I realize now why we're sitting here. Um, maybe I misread the day, very good chance. Uh, today, Disneyland opens at nine magic hours eight to nine um so everything i said before was uh, just push it all back an hour um so i guess my plan will be to get into dca at 9 a.m go straight to the popcorn cart in front of carthay circle and hopefully get this thing um so they will most likely open the structure uh i guess probably around 7 30 ish um hopefully sooner than later though um but at least that explains why we're not moving um, just a calculation error on my part, although I am certainly not alone. There are now, let's see, four lanes open. Um, some folks over here thinking there's a fifth. Um, and there are definitely cars behind me on all rows. So there, there's easily probably 150, 200 cars now. Um, so I'm certainly not alone in thinking uh, getting here early would be beneficial. I, I'm just wondering how many of these people are here for their magic mornings for the 8 a.m. entrance to Disney. Um, which, that's a select ticket. Or if you're staying at the Disneyland Hotel, which, if you're staying at the Disneyland Hotel, I doubt you're in this line. The others are just early birds, or my guess is most of these people are doing the same thing I am, which, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, it just means it just means it's gonna be a challenge uh, as expected um, I will keep you posted um, be back with you in a, in a second you might not even know I left so we finally parked it is 738 
Um, so definitely they, they started moving the line and opened about 7.30. Um, so right on schedule. Uh, again, just my fault for not realizing the, the times correctly. I was probably reading yesterday's. Um, so I'm about to go through security check and get on a tram and head over to uh, the S. She can't speak for other popcorn carts, but she is telling us this stand right here um, by the Hyperion Theater that these are the last of the popcorn buckets. So they are definitely uh, selling out today. This is not going to last. Uh, I just happen to be first in line today. It is currently 8.43 in the morning and this popcorn stand does not officially open until 11 a.m. <laughs> If not, that is one heck of a long line. Um, I don't think I've ever seen one this far back in line, so uh, a little shocking. I just wanted to take note of that. I'm very, very surprised. Uh, but again, our wait continues. The good news is that the cast member here uh, is going to start setting up. She mentioned that she's not going to sell anything until she has popcorn made. Um, I can't imagine it takes two hours to make the popcorn, therefore, maybe they'll open the stand. Before 11 a.m., maybe maybe they've adjusted their times if they know that these are the last 36 popcorn markets. That uh, sooner they get it open and kind of get this over with, um, you know, it'll just help with the rest of the day. They can just you know immediately tell people when they're out. I got it. Here's my friend. Here's the guy that we woke up for this morning. My little alien popcorn bucket. And behind me, there's the popcorn stand and the line goes back pretty far. Um, one of what I can only guess is maybe one of the uh, outdoor vending ODV managers has already gone through the line. He was counting. Um, I'm sure he already delivered the bad news to whomever was the X number person that um, they just don't have enough buckets for. He was asking as he went down the line, um, you know, just confirming one per person, one per person. So they were getting a good count. So again, here's our here's our little friend. Um, uh, I don't know his name. He hasn't told me. His mouth's full of popcorn. So, anyways, we got it. Mission accomplished. Um, now I guess we'll we'll roam around for a second and uh, we'll kind of see how things are going. It's actually just barely past nine o'clock. I can't quite get to my watch at the moment. But um, they, they made that popcorn right away, and thank goodness it's not 11 a.m. when they opened that stand. So I'd say I'd say this morning's been more than successful and really worked out. Um, it just goes, uh, it just reinforces my theory. Plan, 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 and uh, you shall succeed. So anywho, we're walking down uh, Hollywood. Um, and. Uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna go check 
check things out. As you can see, it's cleared out so that cube that had formed before Guardians of the Galaxy um, has long gone. And I think all these folks are um, maybe making their way there or just sort of taking a nice stroll. It is beautiful this morning. It's probably in the mid 60s and um, yeah, it's a little overcast, but right now that's that's great. Uh, it's quite enjoyable just to sort of wander about and walk around. Alright, so just stood in line on the hub. My new friend Sully here. I was in line probably 15 minutes and uh, they sold out of the alien bucket here. Um, within my first couple of minutes there, they went around and let everyone know that they were out, but that they did have the Sully. So, uh, very happy I was able to get one of these guys. We've been trying to get one for weeks now, so I uh, was able to do it, but again, it, not the easiest thing. It definitely took some, some, uh, some time, it definitely took some uh, planning. Um, this was, I don't know, at least the third time we've tried to, to get it. And um, so anyways, they, they appeared to be sold out through the park. Um, glad we were able to get some and we'll just have to uh, see what Disney does in the future. I, I think they need to start limiting these. I'm all, I'm all fine with people eBaying. I mean, I eBay different stuff, usually not this type of stuff, but look, maybe if they just said each pass holder gets two or maybe three, but you know, something like that. So you can gift one, you know, that's, that's understandable. I think if they did two, um, but seeing the amount um, the volume that's on eBay, it, it's just a little ridiculous and you know people waiting in line for hours to get these is a bit much so um, I hope they change the way that they do these and uh, Just make it easier for, for guests to get it. I mean you're, you're paying all of this for the passes You should be able to take advantage of the annual pass perks is my thought on it So again, I was fortunate to do this and this is the last weekend of it and uh, You know, I got here right at park opening, you know again I was in line for the parking structure at 7. They let us into the structure at 7.30. I was in line at the park probably by 8-ish, maybe before, and in DCA by 8.30. And, and you know, it took all that to get it. So um, it, was, it was really quite the ordeal, but we got it. Um, I'm actually going to go check to see if they have any of the, uh, the Coke bottles. So we'll see. I am now just kind of hanging out for a moment in Tomorrowland. Um, sharing a coke in tomorrowland see they have these um uh, limited edition labels for the summer i'm sure you guys have seen whether you drink soda or not that coca-cola has been running a campaign the last few years where uh you could find your name on a coca-cola bottle or a coke product bottle in this case it's a diet coke um last year disneyland started uh, to where they had specific uh labels for their parks last year i believe it was um uh, at the castle um at Space Mountain and um, oh boy there was one more maybe maybe the Haunted Mansion I might have messed that up um, but I wanted to, to take note that um, I did it I feel rather accomplished right now um, behind me as you can see um, my new Pixar friends uh, here to help me celebrate Pixar Fest uh, we got the the sipper or excuse me the popcorn bucket um, the little little green alien lots of delicious popcorn inside next to him Sully who's also a popcorn bucket which I'll show you in a second and uh, his pal Mike who's a sipper cup now they sold me the bottled beverage which was this water um, so it, they didn't fill it up which was nice I didn't I didn't really want to deal with uh, him being full of liquid and as you can see here at the base they do attach, so they are a pair. Now, they are sold separately. And as you can see, they, they come apart. But here's the back of Mike. I was able to secure a couple bags from uh, one of the retail shops. Um, so it'll make it a little easier for me to, to carry these out. It's funny, these things, you know, we, we enjoy having them. They're very clever, they're cute, they're, they're fun stuff, but they, they take up a lot of space. I'm not sure where we're gonna put these. Um, I haven't been a big of a fan of cups in general lately because we have so many at home. Obviously, you can only drink so, you know, out of one at a time for the most part, I guess. Maybe two, right? If one in each hand. If nothing else, you could say Disney's marketing is very good. And um, 
they, they definitely got us on board, um, got us to uh, to want to buy this stuff. It's not very crowded here yet. As you can kind of see, um, you know, not much going on. And uh, so it's, it's pretty good time to be here. I always say if you're going to come down to the parks, you know, definitely get here early. Um, and let's see. I think space is at 40 minutes right now, which to be honest, that's not terrible and uh, It's only gonna get worse. I guarantee that'll that'll hit, you know, probably 90 minutes today if not more um, So people are starting to head in now. It's about 10 o'clock. All right, so we're back in DCA um, I walked over to AP corner to see about getting our sticker for um, This two-week period they have been rotating um, for annual pass holders since Pixar Fest has begun you can go over to ap corner which is in disney california adventure um uh, near uh the edge of uh california screaming uh, right by the silly symphony swings and you can scan your annual pass and they will give you a sticker set uh basically characters uh from the pixar fest it's in a lot of the um marketing so i think the first one was uh was in wood and but geez Buzz and Woody, and the second one uh, that we picked up was um, Mike and Sully, and this week's is going to be um, uh, Dory and uh, Marlin or Nemo. And so uh, they rotate every two weeks, so this is the last weekend we can get ours. It is currently 10:10, and they do not open until 11, so I am not sticking around. Uh, Mars and I are coming back tomorrow, so hopefully we'll have a chance to get it um, To get it then otherwise, I guess we missed this one now. They said they were going to be running this for um, a Certain amount of weeks if they stick to that number. This is actually the last set However, like I said, they've been using a lot of this stuff in marketing and there are certainly more character combinations So I don't know if they're just gonna only do so many and then end it or maybe they'll actually end up doing this for a bit longer but it's a it's a good it's a good way to get you coming back so every two weeks you got to come back and get a new sticker uh, it's the same location every time it's only in Disney California Adventure all right it's a little quieter I'm walking to my car now on the structure um, yeah it was really cool the cast member at the main gate for California Adventure this morning um, they opened officially at 9, but they were gonna let us in at 8 30 about 8 25 she started scanning tickets so the family in front of me they had their stuff scanned and they had two paper tickets, so they needed their photos taken, which was gonna take a little extra time. But because the, the cast member did that, um, it, it allowed us just to blast right through the turnstile, which is what allowed me to be first in line at the popcorn stand. So I just, I just power walked it through once they opened the gate. And so kudos to her. I, I should have written it down as Cynthia or Sylvia. But super awesome. Um, just, just glad she did it. I, I saw the other cast members doing something similar, but she, she probably scanned at least ten people um, right away, which again, super helpful when, when you're trying to trying to do this. So, I am to my car now. So, um, gonna get in and uh, take this trek back to Burbank. Thirty mile journey probably take me an hour. So, um, thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you guys soon.